When preparing to go to the field with a Broughton compass, one thing you need to do is to determine the magnetic declination in the field area at the time of your visit. I tend to use the NOAA, National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration Magnetic Declination Calculator for this purpose. And either of these links, Declination Calculator or Magnetic Field Calculator will go to the same site. Again, this is NOAA. National Oceanographic and Atmospheric Administration. And the interface you see is this one, all right? They're a magnetic field calculator. At this point, I can either insert the latitude and the longitude, assuming I know those values, or I can search a location based on something like zip code. So if I were, for instance, planning on doing field work on Signal Mountain, I could do this most simply by just inserting the zip code, 37377. And then if I simply click to get the latitude and longitude, it populates these fields with the latitude and longitude of Signal Mountain. 35 degrees, 7 minutes and 15 seconds north, 85 degrees, 20 minutes and 35 seconds west. By default, it uses the world magnetic model, which is fine. By default, the date will be January 4th, 2021, today's date, all right? And I'm going to have it display the result in the web browser using HTML code. If I make that calculation, this is what I get. On January 4th, 2021, at this location, Signal Mountain, Tennessee, the magnetic declination is 4 degrees, 49 minutes west. What that means is that magnetic north, shown here as MN, is 4 degrees and 49 minutes west of true north. Furthermore, that value is changing 4 minutes west, in fact, per year. So on this date, say January 4th, 2021, I would expect the magnetic declination to be a little different. It would be 4 degrees, 53 minutes west. And in a few years, it'll be more than five degrees. So this does change constantly with time. Knowing that the magnetic declination on Signal Mountain today is four degrees, 49 minutes west, the next step is to make that adjustment on our Broughton compass. The adjustment for declination on a Broughton compass is made using this screw right here. And of course that can be done using a screwdriver. It's designed so it can be done using a, a coin, although a penny is kind of a tight fit, but it does fit. Um, or it can be done using the edge of a paper clip or something like that, all right? It's deliberately a fairly wide slot, so any of those things will work. I think the best way to think about this adjustment that we're about to make for magnetic declination is to start with the compass zeroed in a sense, and by that I mean such that the registration pin on the compass is set to zero degrees azimuth on the azimuth ring, and to start with the compass pointed directly north, as indicated by the white tip of the compass needle. And let me take advantage of this opportunity to demonstrate again why the Brunton compass appears to be backwards. You will notice that azimuth is graduated counterclockwise rather than the traditional clockwise, and that east is in fact to the left of north, and that west over here is in fact to the right of north. And all of that appears to be backwards. However, also note, with the compass pointing due north, if I turn the compass to the left, let's say 20 degrees, I am in fact turning the compass toward the west, 20 degrees. And that is an azimuth of 340. And you'll notice that that's exactly what the compass needle is pointing at. On the other hand, and I'll use a different angle just for the sake. So let's start back at zero. And if I turn the compass instead to the east, or to the right, and I turn it 
Oh, let's say 50 degrees. There I am. I, the compass is in fact pointing at an azimuth of 0, 050 0 degrees, having been turned 50 degrees to the east. And that is precisely what is indicated right there, an azimuth of 0, 050 0 degrees. So let's proceed with the adjustment of declination. And again, I think the correct way to start this is to have the compass zeroed so that the registration needle on the compass is pointed at zero degrees azimuth and the compass pointed due north. So, so if you think about what's going on right now, the compass needle is drawn to magnetic north. As such, it should not be pointing at zero degrees. That zero degrees refers to true north. Instead, the compass needle should, right now, be pointing 4 degrees and 49 minutes west of true north. Now we're going to disregard the minutes, just round the minutes up to the next degree, and that would be 5 degrees. We're going to adjust the declination on this compass so that that is true. And we're going to do that. I'll use a penny. Starting with the compass pointing due north, I'm simply going to adjust the declination so that it is in fact pointing at 355. There. With that adjustment, although the compass is pointing to magnetic north, Relative to true north, it is in fact pointing correctly at an azimuth of 355 degrees. Which is 5 degrees west of true north. That is correctly adjusted now for 4 degrees and 49 minutes west of true north.